Hello, everybody. Um, Scavier here, and I've had a lot of questions on uh, my video saying how to do the propagation effects that I use on um, a lot of my light shows, and it's actually really easy. Um, this only works on Chromapper, and it does not work on Mediocre Mapper to my knowledge, but it is actually pretty straightforward. So uh, we'll have a Chromapper window open, and then we'll just open up the or, uh, my most recent light show, Divinity Cross Innocence. This one is actually really kind of focused on the propagation effects, even though they like aren't very apparent, but it was it was a struggle. Um, so in your normal Chrome Mapper, uh, if it's set up properly or you set up normally, you have your standard event lights here, which is back lasers, uh, big rings, left laser, right laser, center ring, or center lights, two la uh, the two ring events, uh, lasers, and boost lights. Um, to open up the propagation menu, you push the P key on your keyboard, like this, and it opens up our uh, propagation grid. So by default, it opens up the big rings, but by using the page up and down keys, you can swap between the different uh, groups. We have big rings, we have left laser, right laser, center lights, uh, and the back lasers. So let, let's just light up the four rings here. So each of these lanes controls four lights on one ring, and there's 15 rings total uh, in this particular different um, settings for the uh, laser. So these have the, the blue and the, the pink on them. And then up here, uh, where is it? I have it on the back rings, these kind of like, leading effects to the rhythm. And then the, we have different parts, like up here on the innocence part, we have the melody, and then, like on Divinity, you can put the uh, the, the melody on the, the the lasers, but it looks a bit more. Um, what, what, how should I say? It looks a bit more nice. Um, yeah, so that's just a real quick way to. Uh, do propagations on Chrome Mapper, and then if you hit Alt P at the same time, it will open up a a different grid. Um, but this time, it opens up every single light in a particular group. So, with just the regular propagation setting for the rings group, you have four lights per ring. But if you're in this mode, it gives you um, access to use every single light on every single ring. So. Like this will light up four lights on one ring, but then it can light up like one light on one particular ring. It's really hard to like nail down, but it's it's it, you get used to it. Um, and then another question I get asked a lot is how to do the um, like the the custom ring animations that I do. And for that, you want to have a um, uh, a rotation event placed on the rotation track. And then select it, and then hit the N key, and that will open up our node editor. And then the node editor is really special because you can input custom data to kind of control the lights in a really nice fashion. And I have a, um, a little notepad document on my desktop that I keep with a bunch of these cool um, like parameters that we use. So like what I um, what I do, so I just take this value and then do Control C, Control V. And that will update the event to um, behave like this. So your speed is like how fast the ring moves. The propagation is like how how they space themselves in a rotation. And then the step is kind of like that too. Direction just goes uh, left to right. And then rotation, I think this is in uh, degrees, like how many degrees it does, like either 360 or 90. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I know you can do propagations or special like zoom effects on the ring zooms, but I have not quite figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of how I put a lot of this together. Thank you for watching, and see you guys around.